Well, over the past few months, in preparation for the leadership uh, election in May, we've been speaking with those vying for the top job in the Conservative Party. And this morning's candidate is Rick Peterson. He is a businessman from Vancouver with strong Conservative roots who says he wants a stronger economy, a safer country, and a stronger party. And Rick is joining us from Vancouver. Thanks for being with us. Early your time, Mr. Peterson. It's a pleasure to be on the number one morning show in Canada. Thank you, Anne-Marie. It is a very crowded race. One of your identifying characteristics is that you are not an MP. Why does that make you the best person to lead a group of politicians? Well, you know, Anne-Marie, I think uh, Canadians across Canada are, are really concerned about day-to-day, um, uh, -day, the budget, the economy, jobs and money. And, and uh, being shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder with Canada's entrepreneurs, I have a small business and we help uh, raise money for Canadians who are creating jobs and creating wealth. And I think uh, being close to the ground and having a real close, clear idea of what counts for Canadians is a real advantage. And everybody else on the stage is a full-time politician or recently defeated full-time politician. So I think it's a fresh view, it's a new view, and it's a view that really uh, corresponds with what Canadians are looking for. Although not an elected official, you have been a Conservative Party member since 1986. Uh, and you've said that as a party, more needs to be done to inspire the members. But you also published a list of MPs that you think aren't pulling their weight. You call them the Group of Nine. You said they're not doing a full day's work. Uh, Aaron O'Toole has responded by saying that, uh, you know, when we attack fellow Conservatives instead of debating policies, the only winners are Justin Trudeau. You know, he is one of those people, one of those party members who doesn't see that as necessarily mm -hmm. inspiring leadership. You know, I'm not attacking anybody, Emery. These are all good candidates, good, good, good quality people. But the record is the record is in the private sector. When you don't show up full time, you don't get paid. And I think that if you are a leadership candidate, whether it's Aaron or I think uh, the two that really stand out are Maxime Bernier and Andrew Scheer, if you are being paid by uh, the taxpayers of Canada as an MP, your job is to show up and make laws. How do you make laws? You vote. So if you are taking a full-time salary, don't forget, Emory, these, these guys are making, these people are making $170,000 a year. So if you don't show up for your show uh, two days out of three or one day mm -hmm. out of three, you're not going to get paid. So I just think it's only normal. I, I, I think that uh, uh, Aaron is correct, though. I'm, I really don't pay much attention to what those, uh, you know, what's going on. It seems to, seems to me that the leadership race so far is just a whole bunch of people setting their hair on fire trying to get media attention. Uh, today, I'm... I'm announcing my, my economic and fiscal plan, and I'm concerned. I'm concerned about the spending that Justin Trudeau is happening, uh, is, is, is doing right now. Uh, he wants to balance the budget in 40 years. He's got a $1.5 trillion debt. I'm going to balance it within two years of becoming prime minister, and we're going to do that by eliminating corporate income tax. So I hear from Canadians coast to coast. They're worried about the spending. They're worried about Donald Trump. There's going to be a very aggressive tax cutting policy in the U.S. So Canadians are, are going to be facing some tough times. And I think that, and I know that my program and my ideas are the only one that has been fielded so far that I think really meets the demands of what Canadians are talking about around the kitchen table day in and day out. You brought up Donald Trump. I'm curious, you know, he's a businessman that made the transfer into politics very successfully. Uh, mm -hmm. was, that a, was that a factor in your decision to run it all? No, I think what uh, I was getting calls from the, from people across Canada, uh, Emery, and and I uh, uh, was very kindly uh, accepted. Former Prime Minister Brian Mulroney gave me some time, and I spoke to him, and we spoke to I spoke to people across Canada. And the bottom line is, Canadians need a new voice. They're looking for a new Conservative voice. I am fluently bilingual. I'm. Uh, we have a lot of support coming out of Quebec, and I think that a leadership race is really a great time to bring new energy, new voice, and new ideas. And again, my policies are original. My policies are the only ones that are going to help pull Canada, pull its weight down the road. And by eliminating corporate income tax, it's a solid, bold, costed out plan. If uh, your viewers go to petersonleader.ca in about uh, two hours from now, you're going to see my plan. And I'm the only candidate. I'm the only candidate, Emory, that so far has put forward a strong, detailed plan as to how to grow the economy. And I think that's what Canadians are looking for. I know that's what Conservatives are looking for. All right, Mr. Peterson, thanks for your time this morning. Thanks. Pleasure being here. Well, we have now spoken with all of the Conservative candidates who are running for leadership. You can check out those interviews on our website, yourmorning.ca. A reminder, the new Conservative leader will be chosen May 27th.